Miss Rooster, I'm going to come out here in just a minute once the battery's finished charging and I'm going to cut your grass. I'm going to get all these weeds cut and I'm going to make it look nice again. What do you think of that? Yeah, you don't like when I weed eat, but you like it when it's done. Welcome to the channel, guys. I got to get busy. Got to get busy. They were out here earlier cutting trees again. They came over to that tree and cut that side of that big tree down there. But uh, I don't hear them anymore. So I think they're gone. But just when I think they're gone, they pull back in. So we're going to get busy. I'm going to start out by getting her yard cut. Just waiting on it to dry a little bit. We'll get going. Come on, Rooster. Ah, used to walk do a pretty good job in little areas like this, but out back, no. Batteries don't last very long. Like a dog, day and night, trying to finish up this job and do it right. It's only a few things that a man like me needs, and Jesus whiskey, and you're right next to me singing, Hey, honey, I'm coming home. I don't know why you've gone so long. Hey, honey, I'm coming home to you. Promise, please, that you're gonna be the light on for me Hey, honey, I'm coming home soon And know what we're gonna do Heaven knows that you put your time into it Hell of a woman, sweet red wine, and how you choose 
Let's get one thing straight It ain't about what you do for me well, I'm gonna love you And I love you loving me Singing, hey honey, coming home I don't know why I've been wrong so long Hey honey, I'm coming home to you I said, hey honey, promise please That you're gonna be the light on for me Hey honey, I'm coming home soon we're gonna do Coming home, I don't know why I've been gone so long. Hey, honey, coming home, I don't know why I've been gone so long. Said, hey, honey, coming home, I don't know why I've been gone so long. Said, hey, honey, coming home to you. Hey, hey honey, I'm coming home, I don't know why I've been gone so long. Hey, honey, I'm coming home to you. You're gonna leave the light on for me Hey, honey, I'm coming home soon You know what we're gonna do <sighs> This one's a lot lighter than the other weed eater But the other weed eater is easier to handle Because it has a strap This one's hard on my back You guys are always in my way, man. Let's get you out of the way here for a minute. Very dead. I didn't last long. All right, we got Rooster's Yard all cut. I'll come out here with a blower and get some of this off the sidewalk. All my batteries are dead. You go through them pretty quick in those. Uh, those electric weed eaters they don't last long and they get real hot so you got them cool off where you can recharge them so i got our started out here that was pretty bad so we're gonna get this as much done as we can all right let's turn the air conditioner on it's gonna be 92 today what are we watching i tell you what guys you're watching gerbils boy what kind of shows are you watching in here Millie's looking like he's acting like she ain't watching but as soon as I leave she's watching all right guys I just lost an hour I lost my GoPro I laid it down somewhere I couldn't find it I'm only down to one because I have to use the one without the microphone because I'm down to one battery because the one blew up on me yesterday and uh so I'm gonna have to wing it with one. Uh, so I got some ordered, but it's you know it's gonna be a few days before those show up. All right, what has to get done today? I've got to put this grill together. Uh, you won't see that in this video. Uh, I'm gonna Jeff's coming over tonight. We had to postpone last night, and we're gonna grill out on this. It's it's a product I need to review. So we'll make it part of tomorrow's video it won't be the entire video but we i need to get it put together i think all that really entails is putting the uh handles on so but you'll see that in tomorrow's video because i gotta wait all the night to film the eatings all right the battery went dead on me that's my life now waiting on batteries to charge waiting on this to charge so i can do some more weed eating she's even charging right now yeah she's sleeping all right, I got this battery charged back up, but they're eating them up fast for some reason. What is that haze? There it is, it's gone. So I may have to do some filming on my phone because for some reason, the, the older batteries, they're not lasting, but we're gonna get it done. All right. All right, got one batch of dishes done. Guys, I am just 
bobbing back and forth getting little projects done i'm still waiting on the dewalt battery to charge i want to get out here a bit and go to different spots and get them cleaned up so i can start preparing to get all this metal and stuff picked up but i gotta get these weeds and stuff out of the way in here uh oh, this one battery business sucks i mean whoo and i think i don't know if we're supposed to bring jeff's minivan to get fixed today or not he hasn't called me so we gotta wait they're paving that road by that shop so the guy uh, and I went down this morning. They're still out there. They got it one lane closed off. They're finishing up the road getting it painted cleaned off So he doesn't have as much room as he normally would have so we told Jeff last week to bring it back So hopefully we can get that in there uh, By tomorrow maybe today. I don't know But I'll tell you something if you are trying to buy a vehicle nowadays Good luck that's all I, I mean used and they're not making new ones right now because they're all on strike so the used ones are are in big demand so we're going through this all over again he'll see one on marketplace call it's gone it's gone as soon as it goes on there doesn't matter what it is so he's gonna have a task finding a vehicle uh, anybody that's going through that and I am thankful that I backed out of that. Well, I didn't back out of the car deal I was going to do. They did. But I'm glad that happened because now I look back and I, and I discovered how much that would have been a month to insure it. Uh, I, I wouldn't have been able to afford that. So he needs the days of three, four thousand dollar cars. They're long gone. Long gone. You are not the truck I own. The model that model now is a hundred thousand dollars yep that one's that one's a 2012 but i guarantee you i could sell it today for twenty five thirty thousand dollars used because it doesn't have very many miles on it yeah it may have some dings and scratches but i bet a dealer would give me 20 25 right now but i am not getting rid of either one of my vehicles I, I just pay to have them fixed, you know. It's it's what we do. We we're going to have to start doing. If you don't know how to fix your own vehicles, you're going to have to learn. Uh, even that's hard here because you wait forever, you know, to get something fixed. And all of our shops are busy, and everybody's doing that. They're they're not buying. They're waiting, and they're they're fixing their own vehicles. I mean, you have to just replace the tires. The days of going to buy one brand new every year, those are over. Uh, a lot of our days are over, the way things used to be, trust me. But enough of that. Alright, as soon as the battery's charged, I'm going to try to get around some of this junk. Get around the chicken house, get these, there's some privet trying to come up. You girls just lay around all day. You don't pick weeds or do any work. You're always scratching on your butts. I think a lot of that guys' is ants get on them and things. They're on Soresto collars. And they sh they don't have any fleas or ticks. They just wallow around in the dirt. And there's bugs and stuff in the dirt. But nothing lives on them. They, I, they don't have worms. I worm them regularly. So they're good, aren't you? You just like scratching, I think. You've always been a scratcher. Yep, see it's a fly. A lot of times a fly will land on them and they overreact. What do you got here, guys? That's part of my e-bike. Alright, I gotta go get some more dishes done. I'll bring you along uh, as I go. Not for the dishes, though. My kitchen's a mess still. And I want to thank Frank and Susan Niles in Maine for sending this new dog bowl. It's actually for Waldo and Lily, but I stepped on Rooster's bowl and broke it, so she has to use it for now. But it actually has legs that will stand up, so they don't have to reach far down to get their drink of water or whatever. So thank you for that. They also sent dog food. I don't know why this GoPro is twitching. Oh, they also sent dog food and some treats, and I thank them for that very much. All right, guys, I was bringing some stuff upstairs here because, well, that's where I store all my junk now. And I happen to notice something. Let me get a light on here and I'll show you. Pretty scary. 
Okay, this is the electrical wire here that runs my air conditioner, that whole section over there. Look at this. You see it? There's a little chewing. Something's been chewing on it. And I see an exposed wire. That is not good. I believe that is the ground wire, but still. I have to look at it. Now I gotta turn off the breaker and tape that up. That's how house fires get started. Uh, if I could do everything over again, I'd put it all in conduit. And man, look at that. I think it's fine as long as I leave it alone, but I'm going to have to tape that up. I don't know where any electrical tape is. That's horrible. Something chewed that because I haven't, that didn't happen when I drug it through here. So, not good. Something was down in there. Probably fried them. I don't see nothing. Oh, there's no droppings. So it could have happened. I, I don't know. But that's, that's dangerous right there. All right, I've got that all taped up. I inspected the rest of it. I did not see it. It, it looks like a mouse chewed on it. But it, I don't see any droppings anywhere. So I'm not sure if that did that but the drop the pieces are right there so it sure looked like it was two marks but man that makes me wonder now that'll yeah, make a person nervous but we got that fit i just shut the power of the whole house off come up here taped it up but yeah it's fixed for now i know i turned the power off so i gotta reset i had to reset your tv but we got a different show on we got paws and claws Look at that little puppy. You were that size once, uh, Lily. That puppy's drinking out of a bottle. You know why? Because they probably don't have a mommy. Or they dumped them. That's what happens. You were dumped. When you were a baby, you were dumped in a box with all your siblings. 14 of them. You were left out there to die. And somebody found you. And guess where you are now? Because you were the goofiest of the bunch. And I picked you. And you've been here for nine, almost ten years now. Well, you ain't had a care in the world. Neither is that goofy boy. He's got to drag these blankets off the bed, put them in a corner, smash in the insulation. Yeah, we got to get some walls on there. All right, guys. Uh, I'm continuing to clean my house. The batteries are still charging. But you, you can continue watching through my other channel because I'm going to continue shooting clips. But we're going to go ahead and get this up on dog man a lot of these unless i have a project plan are going to be hodgepodges of this and that i'll try to make them interesting uh but there are projects coming up we got two more days in the 90s today and tomorrow and then it's going to start by next week this time we'll be in the low 70s and i'm gonna get to town you guys have a great day we'll see you on another channel don't forget to subscribe like and check out the memberships, man. I could use some of them. Help me with these puppy dogs. Happy trails. And look what I just got. That's right, my bike mirrors. I was editing the video, guys, and I was a minute and a half short. So I got to come back and yak at you for a minute and a half. And I need to get some laundry done. But let me tell you why I can't do laundry. Because it's hot out. And Lily is afraid of the washer and the dryer and she will go outside don't care how hot it is and she'll stay out there till the laundry is done she's afraid of it so i gotta wait either do it early in the morning or on a cool day well in the summer you don't have any cool days so probably do it later tonight i don't know let's let's go have a talk with her about it well she's not even in here there she is I was just telling these folks that I can't do laundry when it's hot out because you like you are scared of everything yeah look at this boy he's in the chair now look at you you look like you're tired you stayed up all night watching TV didn't you I know you did ah uh, more puppies more puppies okay we got 20 more seconds we can film you for 20 more seconds yeah, you're tired. You are, because you've been watching dog TV all night. Give me this paw. Give me that. Give me that paw. 
be watching puppies. All right, folks. Happy trails. <laughs>